welcome to another science video from GSE at Home at 10 a.m. My name is Veronica and today we're going to build a scale model of our solar system. Space is big, really, really big. Our universe has trillions of galaxies, each one containing billions of stars and most of those stars have planets going around them. Our little corner of space is called the solar system and includes all the planets that orbit our star, the sun, along with lots of moons, asteroids, comets and space dust. We call it our solar system because to the Romans the sun was known as Sol, S-O-L, which is where we get the word solar system from. Our solar system has eight major planets. Shall we name them together? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. We can see a model of our solar system here in this beautiful mechanical device called an orrery. The first orrery was built almost 300 years ago by Charles Boyle, the fourth Earl of Orrery, which is where it gets its name from. These devices use cogs and gears to create a model where all the planets move around the sun at the centre at the correct relative speed. These paths that the planets take around the sun are called orbits, which is one of my favourite words to say, orbits. <laughs> what do you notice about the planets nearer the sun? Do they move slower or faster than the ones further away? You can see here that the closer a planet is to the sun, the faster it moves. Little Mercury, for example, it speeds around the sun in just 88 days, whereas our planet Earth takes a year to go around the sun. How many days is that? If you say 365, you're almost exactly right. It's closer to 365 and a quarter days. We save up all those quarter days and add them up, and every four years, we make a leap year. This year is a leap year, so it has 366 days in it. But look how slow Jupiter and Saturn are going. So slowly, you can almost, well, you can't see them really move at all, can you? This model is beautiful and shows the orbit speeds accurately, but it's wrong in two important ways. Firstly, the planets aren't to scale with one another, or the sun. And secondly, the distances between the planets, they aren't to scale either. The planets are much smaller than the sun by comparison. And the planets are also much further away from each other. They're not that close at all. They're ages away from each other. I'll show you what they should look like. Why don't we build a couple of simple scale models of the solar system that help us understand just how big everything is. For our first model, we are going to compare the sizes, the relative sizes of all the objects within our solar system. So the best thing you need to do is just find a lot of little round objects that you have in your house. I've got some beads, some seeds, some nuts, um, and I've raided my calf box as well, just to get lots and lots of different sizes. You can go these as well, <laughs> tasty, delicious. Um, the first thing we're going to start with is our sun. Now our sun is a star. The stars are big, they're much, much bigger than our planets. So our sun, our star, binds all of our planets um, towards it and keeps it in orbit with something called gravity. It's huge. So we're going to start with this football. Um, now this is approximately 20 centimetres um, in diameter, approximately. So that's what we're going to go off of. Now, the planet Earth is 100 times smaller in diameter than the sun. So if it's 20 centimetres, 20 divided by 100, 0.2, and 0.2 of a centimetre is 2 millimetres. Whoa, that's really small. So we need to find something that's 2 millimetres. Now don't worry if you are finding it difficult to measure. You can use one of these, one of our rulers. So what we're going to do is we are going to set this to one side and we're going to measure on our piece of paper how many millimetres that is. Now a millimetre is one tenth of a centimetre. You might notice that on one of your rulers, our centimetre has got lots of lines in between. Each one of these is one millimetre. So we're going to measure out two millimetres. And then we're going to take those two little dots 
and we're going to make a little circle with those two dots making each one of those dots at one end of the circle so that's it that's earth now we need to find something that fits in there let's see we can try this one oh that's far too big we can try this one that's smaller oh that's far too small you could try it with lots of bits and pieces in your house too let's try oh let's try a linseed i think a linseed might be the one. Oh, i think that's as close as we're going to get oh i think that's pretty perfect <laughs> so now we're going to measure out all the other planets i'll tell you how big they are don't worry now the closest planet to our sun is that's right it's mercury and in our scale, compared to our sun, it's only one millimeter. Wow. So we're going to get a ruler again and measure out one millimeter. Just one of those spaces, one line and another line. Oh, that's teeny tiny. And then we can measure out Venus. two millimeters sort of the same um it's smaller than our earth but for these scales it's closer and then we're going to go for mars now mars will be about one millimeter measure it again and we're going to go to our massive planet jupiter jupiter is the biggest planet in all of our solar system Think it's bigger than the sun? Well, it's actually a lot smaller. It's only two centimetres. So we're going to measure out two centimetres on our ruler. There's one dot. There's the other dot. Oh, this is going to be a lot trickier to mark out a circle, but do your best. You can even draw a little line just to help you. And then do another two dots, just to help you make a circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. Even the planets, they're not perfect spheres. They're spheroids, they're sort of squished. So it's okay if it's squished. Right, let's see if we can find um, our next one. What's our next planet? It is, of course, Saturn. Saturn will be about one and a half centimetres. I'm going to try and draw this one out. You can see mines aren't perfect either. Just do your best. Next one is Uranus. That's about seven millimetres in our model. And then the next one, Neptune, and that's around about seven millimetres. Of course, they're, it's not exact, it's just a roundabout. We're just rounding up. Perfect, so there are all of our planets and you can tell already if that's the sun and that's the size of the planets. That's incredible. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and find objects to fit in each one of these little circles. We've got our Earth already. Well, I have with my little linseed. Not my linseed, my sesame seed little sesame seed. So let's see what else I have. Let's try one of these for Jupiter. Oh, it's too big. Oh, I think that, oh, perfection. The largest planet in our solar system. I have found it. Now I think the only thing that I've got that's small enough to be Venus is another sesame seed. So let's see, I think our hundreds and thousands are going to be either Mercury or Mars. So I'm going to try and find a pink one for Mars because Mars is the red planet. So I think we'll find a little pink one. Because pink is close to red, isn't it? Perfect. And then we'll use a linseed 
for Mercury because Mercury kind of looks um, the same colour as our moon. Kind of grey. Beautiful. It's sticking to my finger because it's so small. Oh no, I'm losing Mars. Mars is running away. Here we go. My son has run away as well. Right, let's move on to Saturn. That one's too big. Let's try our hazelnut perfection. Perfection. We'll try this one. Oh, first time lucky. Neptune, a lovely and blue. So here we have all of the planets lined up in comparison to the sun. That's how much bigger the sun is compared to our planet Earth. Our planet Earth is just this tiny little seed. My hand compared to the giant star that is our sun. Pretty cool. Let's move on to our second model. Our second model is, well, now we know how the planets compare to the sun, but that's not how far away they are from each other. They're actually really far away. So let's investigate that a little bit further. So with our first model, we showed you what um, our sun and the relative comparison of the planets were. So now I'm going to show you how far apart these objects are. Now, if I was to use this size of sun and our sesame seed Earth, I would have to place it to be an accurate representation. I would have to place it 35 meters away. I would have to go outside. I would have to go across the street and across the next street to be able to put it in the correct position. And things will only get further and further away because remember, space is really big. So we have to make our sun smaller, a lot smaller. <laughs> Why don't we make it the size that our earth was, our sesame seed. We'll make it this small. And how we're going to measure it, how far apart the planets are from each other, is we're going to use this as our sun. Imagine that's in the middle and we're going to use something every household should have. Um, I know this stuff is in short supply recently, um, so make sure to ask a grown-up permission to use this stuff. Um, and once we roll it out, don't worry, you can just re-roll it and um, reuse it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to use this to mark out the scale of our solar system. Remember, our sun is now teeny, teeny, tiny. It is the same size as our Earth was before. Whatever you've used for your Earth, I've used my sesame seed. Now let's mark out the very first planet, Mercury. So that's our sun. Mercury will be so small in this scale, you wouldn't even be able to see it. So... Let's mark out one sheet, and that is where Mercury would be. Um, Venus would be another sheet along, so it would be there. Earth would be three sheets away again. That's really far away from our sun. The planets just get further away. Mars is four and a half, so that's all the way over here. And it just gets further and further away. The next planet is Jupiter and the sheets do start jumping up. So let's count out 16 sheets of toilet paper to see the distance of Jupiter. So that's one, two, three, 15, 16. Whoa, that's a lot. Let's go to Saturn. Saturn is 29 sheets, 16, 17, 18, 28. 29. Saturn's even further. I'm, I'm running out of room. Um, let's keep measuring and we'll see how much toilet paper we have to roll out and then we'll see how long it is. So the next planet after Saturn is, that's right, it's Uranus. So let's go to Uranus. It is 58 sheets. So Earth was three, Mars four and a half, Jupiter was 16, <laughs> Saturn was 29, Uranus is 58, so that's 29, Three, 
That's 58 sheets. Look how much toilet roll is here. That's loads and that's how far away it is from our teeny tiny sun. That's incredible. But we've got one more planet left to go to. What is it? That's right, it's Neptune. Neptune is 90 sheets away. So we've got 58 here. Let's go to 90, okay. All right. Eight, 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 nine, ninety. There we go. So we have reached ninety. I lost count halfway through it, and I had to start all the way from the beginning again. If you wanted to make it easier, you could even just mark out where each of the planets were, so you don't have to start all the way from the beginning again. So now I've marked out where Neptune would be, and that's ninety sheets. So I'll tear it off there. Boom. So that's all the way. All the way woo, to here, to this teeny tiny sun. Oh, that planet is really much further away. Now you can't really see it from here, so I think I'm going to have to stretch out, aren't I? Yeah. Wait right there. So all of this toilet roll is the distance between our teeny tiny sesame seed sun and our planet of Neptune. That's pretty far. Now it does look far all like this, so let's stretch it out and see how far we can go. Right, where's the end of it? Where's the end? Where's the end of it? There it is. Like, let's pop this bit down here and we'll start seeing how far it goes. And if you've marked out all of those planets, see how far away those planets are? Looks like I'm going to have to go out my front door. Don't worry if you don't have space to do that, just try and do it in your own home. Or if you've got an outdoor space, come with me. Where's my cat? <laughs> <laughs> so we just all the way out here, isn't that amazing? Right next to my neighbour's house. The solar system is absolutely massive. I hope that puts it into perspective for you. And remember to roll up your toilet roll and reuse it. But thanks everyone, make sure to send us your pictures and um, what you've used for your different planets and how far your toilet roll has stretched in your home. But goodbye from me, stay safe everybody, bye!